All right, so my butt kicker LFE uh, was making a mechanical clinking kind of a sound, um, which didn't seem right. And I thought maybe I had blown it or something. I didn't really know how it worked inside. So uh, there wasn't a lot of information online. So that's why I'm making this. Now, uh, the teardown is pretty easy, uh, quote unquote easy. Uh, these are 3 16 bolts and you're gonna have to get an Allen wrench or preferably an impact driver with that 3 16 uh, to bust those loose. I don't know if they're sonic welded or what, I don't see I don't see glue or Loctite or anything, but they're, uh, as you'd expect, on there pretty well. And uh, yeah, you're gonna need a lot of torque to get them off. Uh, if you're just using the Allen wrench, uh, it could break. It's hard to do. Uh, so yeah, impact driver's best, but uh, you know, one of these, use the short side and sleep some kind of a tube on there to stiffen this and uh, break it loose. Anyway, so on the inside, uh, you got this. This is the shell. Uh, it looks pretty much the same on both sides, except for the uh, allowance for the speaker wires there. Now, um, there's a secondary, the magnet, and the coil inside. Um, and then there's the driver that just kind of floats in there. And uh, as you can see, this one's about 10 years old, so I don't know what they've done to improve the design since then, but it looks pretty much the same on the outside. This is what they look like on the inside, uh, 10 years old. So anyway, this thing is floating loose in there, um, so to speak. Uh, it can come out of either half, but this half has the wires coming out of it, going to the speaker connections. So uh, you're not going to get it out of this half without unwiring all that. I snapped that one on accident, just pulling the two halves apart. So and, uh, even after you get the bolts out, uh, it might, it'll still be like, just kind of mechanically, it'll just sort of be held together with the paint or, you know, whatever. You might have to still crack it loose with a exacto blade or a spatula or something to get the halves apart, but there's nothing holding them together after you get the bolts out. Um, so anyway, what I assume was going on uh, was that this housing, you can see this gap, never mind the uh, glue there, you can see this gap, the housing is flat and it's smaller dimensionally, top to bottom from this point to this point. So I assume the sound I was hearing was this whole housing clanking up and down against the um, the inner housing here. So what I did uh, was I just poured some hot glue in there um, on all four corners, and I'm only going to be able to do it on one half, you know, unless, unless I try to squeeze some in there when I slam it back together, but I don't think I will. Uh, if this was the problem, this should be sufficient. So basically now I just put in four bumpers of hot glue and then I scraped them off, cleaned them with a razor to get them flush, just to make sure I had no problems putting these two things back together. And I've seen people lubricate in here. I don't, this seems to be a slippery uh, kind of plastic and I uh, don't really see how lubrication would help anything, but I might slap some in there anyway. Frankly, I'm shocked that these uh, bumpers aren't in bad condition. I would have assumed that this thing would have been slamming against the housing on both sides at some point. And obviously that's what the cork is supposed to prevent. So I've seen people put padding in theirs that didn't have cork on it already, but mine seems to be in fine shape. So, 
Uh, other than that, the only thing I can guess uh, was the noise is that the uh, driver seems to be just slightly undersized in the hole. Um, so if you wiggle it side to side, it does make a noise, but I find that hard to imagine that that would uh, cause the kind of sound I was hearing. It was, it was a very impact kind of a sound, uh, you know, a higher pitch than it should have been. This, you know, this thing should just be shaking, not actually producing any sound on its own. So, uh, I think that's it. That's all I've got. I'm just going to slap these two back together and, uh, put the bolts back in with some Loctite. Gonna need some permanent Loctite probably at a minimum, the red stuff. And, uh, you know, if it works after I put it back together and uh, doesn't make any more noise, I will post this video. There you go. Like and subscribe. Joking. I'm joking. I don't have any followers. I don't have any content. Okay. Bye.